it's been two years. Can you imagine that our world has just turned upside down thanks to the pandemic? Work, vacation, everything, absolutely everything has been redefined. So, as I juggle between work, uh, managing a toddler, household chores, getting away for a vacation as and when I feel like is like a dream. That's why this year I have promised to prioritize my physical and mental well-being. So here I am to get some much needed me time. Let's start with the least favorite part, but the most important part. Switching off that phone. Okay, so now my favorite part. Some paid puja, the sattvic way. But how will that heal my mind and body? Well, I need an expert who can tell me why are we doing this. That's why I'm meeting Dr. Arun Pillai who will give me a proper diet plan according to my body type. The first thing is, you know, what we do is to understand your Prakriti, alright? Because Prakriti becomes the key factor here in terms of understanding how and where are you made up of from a uh, from an elemental perspective. So because once we know what is your Prakriti, we can also understand what is your Vikruti from there on. Initially, we start with your blood pressure, which we get an understanding of what kind of stress levels you are into. Then we do you a, a BC analysis and where the body composition analysis is present. And then we understand your metabolic age and things like that. Then we also superimpose that data with the Ayurvedic way of analyzing you with the Nadi analysis. So these are three things what we do it in a in a basic form to understand where your well-being is is lying in. From the analysis what we have had so far, you know, so understanding is that you are from a combination perspective, Prakriti perspective, you are actually Pitta and Vata, which is fire and the wind element. So this fire and the wind element is actually a combustible element, right? So if you are not taking care of it in a right way, it can actually push you down either into too much of wind or too much of fire. So the current state of yours, you know, the Vikruti perspective, you are into a Pitta. So your Pitta or the stress levels have really pushed you so much that the body has got into a very, very acidic frame now, right? So putting all these things together, what has happened is your age has mm. been pushed to 56 years. <laughs> nothing, to be, nothing to be shocked, but, but definitely there is a lot of things what you need to work on because 20 years more is what has been reflecting here. So the consultation is done and the doctor told me that Veera, you are 36 years old, but your body is of a 56 year old. <sighs> but he also told me what are the doshas in my body and what I should eat. So I am chef and we are going to come this farm where we are going to pluck fresh vegetables and then cook a recipe which is sattvic. I'll show you the recipe and then I'm going to have my lunch. Finally! We are going vegetable shopping. <laughs> Hello, hi, hi, hi. So what are we doing? What am, I, what am I eating today? First tell me that. So today the menu has a kapalanga thoran, that's a green papaya thoran. The kapalanga thoran is basically a coastal Kerala dish. The main ingredients of kapalanga thoran is green papaya and mung dal. And it has a great healing capacity as well. You know, it has rakta, hridaya and hridaya, which is in Ayurveda term. So it is good for cardiac. It is good for heart as well. Now this is our farm garden and it's very beautifully made and very beautifully planned as well. Now at Hilton Silim, you can see all the leafy vegetables and all the herbs or all the seasonal vegetables, we pick it from here. We don't source it. We source only potato and onion. So we will plug a beautiful papaya. Nice green papaya, beautiful, fresh. Okay, so now for the latte, I am gonna harvest turmeric from the garden. There you are. Fresh 
organic turmeric for my latte. After a nice afternoon nap, it's time for some massage therapy. Okay, so I have Dr. Sudha here. Namaskar. Okay, Dr. Sudha, before we go for the massage therapy, mm -hmm. I want to tell you mm -hmm. what is the right massage for me and why do I want to do this massage? Okay. Uh, I will suggest that ki aap Ayurvedic Abhyanga therapy lo because this is like a fantastic Ayurvedic therapy because it can balance all the doshas of your body like Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Who all should do this massage mm -hmm. and what should not? Okay, so this massage is something which is uh, you should not be doing if you have any fever conditions or maybe uh, 
uh, if you are sick and all that and also you should not be doing if you are pregnant or maybe you have menstruation and everything otherwise uh, everybody can do this because it is like an anti-aging therapy it also helps in detoxification of the body that's mainly it helps in movement of the lymph and you know lymphatic drainage happens when you do this massage it, it helps in lubricating the joints and then it tones up the muscles of your body and then not just that it helps in calming down the nervous system so in overall it's an excellent massage for entire body mind and soul It was amazing. This is exactly what I needed to charge up my battery. But before I head to the real world, I want to say, please take care of your physical and mental well-being because health is wealth. And I go and know that I'm 56 years old.